More than 46 years after it was originally shot, the Aretha Franklin concert film Amazing Grace is finally getting released, ending one of the most tortured and long-running sagas in documentary film. The film was mostly shot by Oscar-winning director Sidney Pollack and captures Franklin's performance at the New Temple Missionary Baptist Church in Los Angeles in January 1972. The music from the two performances was released as a landmark double live album in 1972. However, Pollock did not use the right technology at the time to match the sound with the video, making the footage virtually impossible to edit. The film was only finished in 2011 after a special team was able to fix those technical problems. At this point, however, Franklin and her team blocked the release of the film repeatedly, arguing it was, quote, the functional equivalent of replaying an entire Aretha Franklin concert and couldn't be screened without her consent. Legal clearance has finally come after the singer's death this past August, as family members agreed to the film's release. In a statement from Franklin's family, her niece says, quote, Amazing Grace is the heart and soul of Aretha Franklin. This film is authentic and is my aunt at her core. In order to qualify for the next Academy Awards, the film was screened for a week in Los Angeles and New York this year, with a wide release happening in early 2019. Franklin won 18 Grammy Awards in a music career that spanned seven decades. She passed away this past August at the age of 76. For City News, I'm Devo Brown.